Nanadra has received the first batch of 846,000 doses of the R21 malaria vaccine from Gavi, the vaccine alliance. The official launch of the vaccines was attended by officials of the Ministry of Health, National Primary Health Care Development Agency and Development Partners. Minister of Health uh, Ali Pat uh, described the arrival of the vaccines as a significant milestone in the government's uh, effort to eliminate uh, malaria in the country. He said the vaccines uh, would first be distributed to states with the highest burden of the disease, uh, particularly Caribbean Biosa, and would serve as a complement to all the treatments for malaria. Of which also the Director General of the year, MPHCDA, Muyi Aina, uh, explained the plans for distribution, adding that an enforcement team would be set up by the agency and the date and uh, location for administration of the vaccines would be communicated in due course. While we're expanding primary health care, we're also tackling diseases like malaria that constitute a large burden. And in that regard, you recall my colleague and I, the Minister of State for Health, Dr. Tunja Laos, and myself, convened a rethinking malaria effort in Elime and discussed what are the ways that we can reboot Nigeria's malaria effort. And we came up with certain strategies that include optimizing the tools that are available to us bed nets, seasonal chemoprophylaxis, intermittent presumptive therapy for malaria, expanding case management and layering on top of it newer tools like vaccines and tailoring our efforts to different parts of the country. What is happening in Zamfara is different from what's happening in Lagos, what's happening in Kebi, maybe not the same as what is happening in Bayelsa. That took place in May. So we're on that journey and we set up a malaria elimination task force an advisory group that constitute, comprises internationally recognized experts, what we call AMEN, the Advisory Group of Malaria Elimination on Nigeria, which has been activated and the task force is active, and in fact it should be meeting again in two weeks. So this is one more marker in our journey to deal decisively with diseases like malaria that afflict millions of our children, our women, and general population that have constituted a huge burden not only in lives, but also in livelihoods, in the economic impact of this. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.